So sketching functions using the addition of ordinates. So I'm going to show you a weird looking function, something you've never really seen before, and I'm going to show you how to sketch it by using addition of ordinates. So here's our weird looking function, uh, f of x equals 3 sine x plus cos 2x. Now, I don't know what that's going to look like yet, but I do have a decent idea of how to sketch it. And the key is un in understanding that it's made up of a function that you can sketch and another function that you can sketch. So I'll call this function g of x and I'll call that function h of x and I'm going to sketch them. Now just briefly, 3 sine x, that's going to have an amplitude of 3, a period of 2 pi. Uh, cos 2x, that's going to have an amplitude of 1 and a period of 2 pi on 2, which is pi. Uh, so they have different amplitudes. They have different periods, but they're both periodic functions. Let's, I'll just sketch them because you don't need to know how to sketch them. Well, you should know how to sketch them. So I've done my very best here. It's a bit ugly, but hopefully you get the idea. We've got 3 sine x starts at 0, 0, goes up to 3, down to 3, and back again, periods 2 pi, uh, and then repeat. So I've done a, uh, a domain of 0 to 4 pi. Okay, h of x, which is cos 2x. Um, starts at 1, because it's got an amplitude of 1 and it's a cosine function, um, and it's got a period of 2 pi over 2, uh, which is pi. So the period, the frequency is, is greater. All right, so, dum, 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 we get four periods in that section, as opposed to two in that one. So, what about sketching g of x plus h of x? Well, if we sub x into, say, if we sub, say, um, this value here, which is pi on 2, into g of x, we get 3. If we sub pi on 2 into cos 2x, we get negative 1. 3, negative 1. So we can sketch, um, we can sketch the function 3 sine x plus cos 2x by just adding the y-coordinates of these, adding the ordinates, in this case the y-ordinates of these two functions. So at that point, uh, I'll just write it here, at pi on 2, g of x and h of x are respectively 3 and negative 1, which means that g of x plus h of x is going to be 3 plus negative 1, which is 2. And I can put a dot right about there. Okay, uh, let's pick another point, say this point here. Uh, this is not um, pi on 2, this is pi here. Okay, so at pi, when x is equal to pi, um, h of x is 1, and g of x is 0, which means that adding 0 and 1 together we get 1, which we can put right there. Now, it's interesting that it's sitting on top of that uh, pink one, but that's because the g of x has nothing to add to it. It's a 0 there. All right, moving over to here, you can see they're lining up, right? So we've got like a negative 1 and a negative 3, uh, negative 1 for the h of x, negative 3 for the g of x, we get negative 4 here, um, negative 4, which is down about here. Um, I should probably consider that point, I didn't do that one, but 0 and 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. Alright, so what have I got so far? I've got a function that's like from there to there, uh, and these two numbers are positive, so it's going to be like somewhere in the middle. Okay, um, now this number plus this number is just going to be that number. If I get this nice little function here going, now uh, then I end up down there. Okay, continuing on, we've got this plus this, so that's at 2 pi. Uh, that was like 3 pi on 2. At 2 pi, we have uh, 0 plus 1, which is 1. Uh, 0 plus 1, which is 1. Uh, at this point, we have 3 and 2, which is 2. At this point, uh, this point here, we have 1. 
at this point we have negative 4 and you can see we're getting like a periodic function. Uh, at this point we have 1. Okay, so now I just need to join those dots. Just before I do though, I want to make clear something. If this one is 0, right? So the, the next point is going to be 0 plus whatever that is, which is just that. And same here, this is 0, so that's going to be 0 plus. This is 0, so it's going to be on that. This is 0, so it's going to be on that. Uh, this is 0, so it's going to be here. And this is 0, so it's going to be here. That gives me a lot more dots now to draw in my new graph. Um, Alright, let's draw in my graph. So, I'm going to be able to join these points, and then swoop down there, and join those points, and swoop down there, and it's going to look something like this. Okay, and that green function is f of x equals 3 sine x plus cos 2x. And I've been able to sketch that, having never ever seen that equation before, no idea what it looks like, because I know this function, I know this function, and I can sketch both of those, and then I can add the ordinates to come up with my new function. So back at my desk, looking at it on GeoGebra, I can see that my sketch is slightly out. Uh, this green function here is 3 sine x, this purple function here is cos 2x, and uh, this function here is my resultant, um, or is my addition of ordinates. You can see there's a little dip in here that I haven't included in mine, because I wasn't being super careful with my addition. So 3 plus negative 1, that's 2, that much is obvious. But that point there wasn't less than 2, it was a little more than 2. So it goes up before it comes back down to a little dip. So slightly different to my sketch, but I think I did an okay job. Now this gives you a new way to think about something really familiar, something you, you know a lot about. Uh, 2x plus 1. What's that? That's just a linear equation, right? y equals 2x plus 1. And you know generally what that looks like. It's got a y-intercept of 1 and a fairly steep gradient. But if we think about it in this new way, we can think about it as an addition of ordinates. We can say, okay, g of x is uh, 2x, and 2x has a y-intercept of 0 and a steep gradient. And h of x is 1, and 1 is just a new different function that passes through 1. And so now I can use addition of ordinates to sketch this function. So I can say, right, well, this is 0 and this is 1, so add them together and I get 1. Um, this is this plus that, that. Uh, you can see that's a, that's a point where they share, so it's going to be doubled at that point. Uh, this is this plus this, so that distance plus that distance will give me this distance. This plus that distance will give me this. And what it has the effect of doing is just shifting the whole function up by the amount of that blue line. So that's the addition of ordinates in a much, much simpler uh, function. But you can see no matter how complex the functions are, as long as you can sketch both of them, then you can sketch the single function.